everyone, my name is Sarah DeGray and welcome to Rev Indoor Cycling, our online edition. Today I have a Tabata which features both dumbbells and core moves, which is really exciting. A Tabata is eight interval rounds of 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. So we'll do four of those with two movements in each Tabata. So you'll get eight total moves and 16 minutes of work. Don't worry, we'll have 30 seconds of rest in between each Tabata. All right, so as usual, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna demonstrate all the moves for you and you can decide whether or not you want to participate in the workout or not. So movement one into bottom one, you'll need a pair of dumbbells. My suggestion today is to do something on the lighter side. So I've got a pair of five pound dumbbells. So five pound dumbbells will work great. Threes, twos, maybe eights if you're feeling really spicy. So we're gonna start with our bridge press today. So you can come all the way down on the floor. We've got a dumbbell in each hand. We press up, palms facing one another. Then we press our feet into the floor. Exhale as you lift the hips and squeeze the glutes. You're gonna hold on to your bridge pose as you do a dumbbell press. So we draw dumbbells down to our chest. Exhale, press back up, down, and up. All while keeping hips lifted. That's the challenge. Movement number two is a tricep extension. So low back goes to the floor here, arms press back up, palms facing one another, and we draw the dumbbells towards our ears. You want to achieve that 90 degree angle with the arms here. We press back up, full extension, and then we draw dumbbells back towards our ears. Beautiful. So those are the first two moves. Tabata number two, movement number one is your bicep boat. So we want to find our boat pose. Okay, we seal the arms into the side body here and then we would get our bicep curl while holding our boat pose. So you have a few options for the legs here. Legs can be straight, or we can bend at the knees as we get our bicep curl or you can put your heels down on the floor. That's also an option. So three options there for you. Movement number two in Tabata two is gonna be the Russian twist. So you can have both dumbbells in hand or just one. And we're gonna take those dumbbells and we're gonna tap the outside of our hip. So rotate and tap, rotate, tap, rotate and tap. I would like you guys to keep heels on the floor today for maximum control and really focus on going slowly and getting good control. It's not about speed here, all right? Movement number one in Tabata three is gonna be our sit and reach. So we come back down to the mat, placing feet on the floor, knees bent, Draw those dumbbells up, so press them up overhead. We want a big exhale, and we're gonna sit up towards our knees. So exhale, sit, and reach with those dumbbells nice and high, slowly coming back down one vertebrae at a time, and then exhale, big reach. So um, I'm gonna challenge you to keep the dumbbells up, arms up the entire time, whether you're in that sit-up position or you're back down on the floor, okay? Take a break if you need to. Your next movement in Tabata 3 is called the punch and cross. So it's gonna involve a via. This is what we're doing, dumbbell in each hand. We're gonna take our right hand towards our left foot and we're gonna throw that punch towards your opposite foot. We come back down to the floor, exhale, throw that punch to the opposite foot. So punch and cross here. If that's too spicy, you can do this movement without the weight and it's just gonna look like our starfish crunches where we're tapping opposite foot to hand. Beautiful. You've made it to your final Tabata. We've got a weighted side plank. This is to be conducted on your low plank position only. So onto your forearms, elbows stacked underneath shoulder. We want to initiate that side plank and then grab your dumbbell. And if you're feeling comfortable, you're going to hold that weight strong overhead, keeping the hips nice and lifted. If you don't feel comfortable with this one, engage in your side plank without the weight. Please do not do this movement in a high plank position. It's not as safe. Engage only from low plank. Finally, plank rows, all right? We've got our dumbbells, we're hanging on to them. We take our plank position here, wider stance with the feet. As we draw that dumbbell towards our rib cage, place it back down and switch. So alternating those rows, trying not to move the hips too much from side to side. If you need to, knees can come down and we can conduct the rows from that position instead of the toes. It's up to you. All right, so that's the workout. Whew. I'm pretty excited about it. We are gonna rock and roll in about 10 seconds or so. So if you need time, press pause, get your water, get your dumbbells, get settled. Otherwise, we are heading straight into this. Bridge press in three, two, one. So we press up into that bridge position. Beautiful. And then press those dumbbells up and down. 
Breathe it down towards your chest. Exhale as you push back up. Beautiful. You've got eight seconds left. Really squeezing the glutes, squeezing the core. So this is why you want your weights too heavy. Two and one. We've got a lot going on today, so it's not heavy weight. Tricep extension. So pelvic tilt, low back on the floor. Arms come up, palms facing one another. Draw those dumbbells towards your ears. Beautiful, and press back up, exhale. Draw dumbbells towards your ears, nice work. Press back up, exhale, nice. Keep going, tricep extension, you guys got it. There it is, you have eight seconds. Nice and slow, don't rush these. Beautiful, three, two, and one. Bridge press coming up, all right? Firmly placing feet on the floor. Arms come up overhead, and press into my bridge. Two and one. Exhale, squeeze, and we can begin that dumbbell press. Really good here, drawing towards your chest. Press up, back down, press up. You should not feel any neck strain here. My head is on the floor comfortably, staring at the ceiling, squeezing those glutes nice and tight. Life is good. Three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. Low back on the floor. You can do a little pelvic tilt here. Breathe. Arms press up. Here we go. Tricep extension. Begin. Dumbbells draw towards your ears here. Beautiful. Full extension. Nice job. And draw back down. Really try to hang on to that 90 degree angle. I know it's difficult. Here we go. You got this. Draw back down and press up. We've got about six seconds here. Draw back down. One more breath. Press up. Two and one. Nice job. Good news, guys. You're halfway through to bottom one. Here we go. Bridge press. Let's get back into it. Feet firmly on the floor, pressing into your bridge, and go. Press up and down, dumbbells up and down. Press up and down, really squeezing those glutes nice and tight. Woo, don't forget to breathe. Breathing is super important. It's really gonna help with that muscular development and that flow of energy. Here we go, three, two, and one. Nice job, back down. Tricep extension. All right, arms up overhead. Pelvic tilt, low back on the floor. We're going to draw some dumbbells towards our ears. Here we go, begin. Nice. I am just staring at the ceiling. It's so lovely. <laughs> nice, awesome. Breathe. Draw those dumbbells towards your ears. Beautiful. You should be feeling this. We're trying to even the forearms a little bit. Like grip strength. And getting the feet here. We've got three, two, and one. Woo! Last one of each, everybody. Here we go. One more bridge press for good measure. Use that big exhale. Three, two, one. Press up into your bridge and squeeze. Add the dumbbells. Here we go. Pressing up and breathe. Exhale. Inhale on the way down. Exhale. Nice job. Ten seconds. You've got it. Lift those hips a little bit higher. Squeeze the glutes. Nice work. You've got three, two, and one. Nice job. Low back comes down to the floor. Pelvic tilt. We're engaging the abdominals here. So press those arms up, palms facing one another. Last set, tricep extension, you guys. Here we go. Draw the weight down. Good. Press back up. Draw down to your ears. Very good. Exhale, press back up. Nice work. Keep going. You're almost through to bottom number one. Eight seconds. You're doing great. Yes, you can. Here we go. Three, two, and one. All right. Keep earning yourself 30 seconds of rest. Congratulations, six you may <laughs> And next up, we have our bicep bow and our Russian twist, okay? Um, so remembering on the boat, you have a couple of different versions. Straight leg, knees bent, or heels to the floor. Do what works for you. We don't want to compromise the low back here. So listen to your body, do what you need to do. Okay, so let's find our boat position. Hug those arms in nice and tight towards your side body and get your bicep curl. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Think about getting taller if that's possible on the sit bones here and squeeze those legs together. If you need to, bend the knees. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. That is a toughie. Do not underestimate that one. All right, we've got a Russian twist. Remember, I do want your heels on the floor for this. We're going to tap the outside of the hip. So again, tap and twist, tap and rotate. Very good. Engage and breathe for this one. Not about speed, right? We're looking for quality over quantity. That's why I don't give you guys rest counts here. Five more seconds. You got this. 
three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, bicep curl, bow, bicep bow is what I'm calling you today. Here we go, let's hug those arms into our side. Take your position, let's go. All right, round two, I'm already feeling it, so I'm gonna go into the event here. You do you, whatever you got. The important thing is you don't need to be a hero. Who are you trying to impress at the end of the day? Right, listen to your body. That other person, they don't matter. Three, two, and one, all right? Woo, Russian twist, let's get back into it. Heels firmly planted on the floor. I'm gonna steal my dumbbells together because I'm working with two. Here we go. Rotate and tap. Rotate and tap. Beautiful. Yeah, nice job. Consistently measured. Are you making contact with the floor or are you cheating? Keep going. Six seconds. Gotta ask yourself. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're halfway through. Beautiful. So see what feels good on that bicep, though, right? Don't push it if you're feeling pain. Here we go. Three, two, one. Use that air. Use that breath. Lift, lift. So you can get a little bit taller. Nice work. Woo, it's getting spicy. Ten seconds. I'm going to bend the knees here. You know it because I need to. Six seconds. Woo, keep curling. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Nice job. We go another set of those Russian twists. One dumbbell or two. Heels firmly planted on the floor. We rotate and tap. Here we go. Begin. Rotate. Tap the floor. Tap. And tap. Nice work. We tap. And tap. Excellent job. I can tell you're taking direction very well. Here we go. Eight seconds. Three. There's that smile. Six seconds. You got this. Here we go. Breathe through it. In three, two, and one. Woo, we got two more, one more of each. Here we go. Bicep bow and Russian twist. What do you need? What are you looking for? Here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh man. Can't that just get spicy? I feel it in my hip flexors. I don't know about you guys. Maybe I'll do one leg extended. You can do that. That's not cheating. Eight seconds. Let me switch it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Feeling that one. All right, heels to the floor, last set of your Russian twists. Here we go, team, in three, two, and one. Rotate, rotate, tap the floor. Come on, don't skip it, here we go. Really rotate, yes, slower is better, slower is harder, right? It's not about how fast you can go. That's not impressive, here we go. Do the movement correctly, here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. You've earned yourself 30 seconds of rest. Go you. <laughs> Next up, we have the sit and reach and the punch and cross. The punch and cross is sure to be a tough one. I know that. Okay. Um, remember, if it gets to be too much with the dumbbells, you don't need to use them. All right. We're, uh, we're really upping the ante today. We're combining dumbbells and core. I thought you guys would like it out there. I'm sure I would hear from you. Here we go. All right, sit and reach, plant the feet, arms up, exhale, we power up, beautiful, slow to lower back down, keep the arms up, exhale, we power up, nice job, slowly lower back down, and exhale to power up, nice and strong, here we go, six seconds, let's get one more, exhale to power up, three, two, and one, whoo, wow, I'm feeling that. All right, you're punch across. I'm gonna start with my right hand to my left foot, so I'm going towards you. Here we go. We lift up, punch and cross, back down, and switch. Exhale, punch and cross. Exhale, punch and cross. The dumbbells are staying at my chest here. Beautiful. Nice work, punch and cross. You've got five seconds. Exhale, three. Let's go three, two, and one. Wow. Right? Is your heart rate up? Because it should be. Here we go. Plant the feet. Arms come up. If you need to take the dumbbells, stay la vie. Here we go. Begin. Exhale. Press all the way up. Beautiful. Slowly lower back down. I dare you. Exhale. Press. And slowly lower back down. Nice job. 10 seconds. Here we go. Exhale and press. Beautiful job. Six seconds. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. All right, punch and cross. Let's start to sweat. I don't know about you. 
arm comes up. There it is. Beautiful. Breathe. If it's too much for the weight, if it's too much to bear, put the weight down. Don't be a hero. Eight seconds. You got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Here we go. Plank work. Knees, toes, doesn't really matter at the end of the day as long as it feels good for you. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Wide stance. And pull. And pull. And pull. Watch those hips. Are they rotating? Right? We want that core control. Beautiful. Eight seconds. Slower is harder. Always. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. One more of each, you guys. We are so close to being finished here. I'm so proud of you. Let's not celebrate too early here. Side plank. Last one. Here we go. Come up. And get that weight up nice and lift. If you really want to challenge the balance here, you can look up. You guys know the deal. Thank you so much for doing this Tabata with me today. Please let me know what you thought. We can certainly combine dumbbells and core more in the future if you like it. Thank you so much. Please subscribe, share, and support us. Thank you so much.